Hello guys, this is Mr. H. Um, today I'll show you how to set up and use the Helitaxi for uh, MRH Milsim. The Helitaxi is one of the many options the mod has to offer. It allows you to control her helicopter. So first let's go to the settings. You can find the settings under Helitaxi. So it has to be for the Helitaxi to work, you have to enable the module you can set uh, how many taxis can be called at once by a site you can define the conditions necessary to be able to call the taxi and you can define class names for the different taxis that might be used by each site So now let's go in game and see what it looks like. Once you're in game you can use a, a soften direction and select the heli you want to call. Then you click on the map where you want it to land and the helicopter hopefully will come and land at the required position. No, I'm sorry, but as you can see, uh, when I recorded this footage, I forgot to record the game sound, so there's no sound in all, all the tutorials I made about uh, LA Taxi or fire supports. So, this is the helicopter. Um, just so you know, it always spawns yeah, at the back of the person who called it, so if you're facing north, it will sp spawn south. Uh. So when it closes in on its landing position, uh, a green smoke will pop where the helicopter will land. I strongly advise for everything having to do with helicopters to not stay right on the healthy because uh, the helicopter won't land. When you're finished using the helicopter or if you cancel it, it will fly away and despawn because it was created by the script. But there is another way to use uh, helicopters which is to uh, place them in the editor and sync them to a group. I will show you how to do that now. So in the editor you can uh, create a helicopter and uh, it has to be in a different group from the group that will control it. You then go to the modules and use the helipaxi module that you sync to the helicopter and to the group. Very important, the group has to, be, has to be outside the helicopter at the start of the mission. Everything that's inside the helicopter will be considered as part of its crew. Let's see now how to control the helicopter. When you are inside the helicopter, you can uh, bring, the, bring up the interface that allows you to set waypoints by using uh, a soft interactions. The upper left menu at uh, the left of the interface allows you to choose the final waypoint and you can set uh, intermediary waypoints by control double clicking on the map. Now as you can see I've selected the land at LZ waypoint. So uh, this final waypoint makes the helicopter land at the LZ and wait. It will wait for a while and then shut down in its engines and it will stay there until you give it new orders or until you can sell it. If you can sell it, it will either go away and despawn if the helicopter was not uh, present at the start of the mission like I showed earlier, or it will go back to its uh, starting point and land, shut down its engines, get refueled, repaired and wait for further orders. Now as you can see the helicopter is landing and it will just wait for me.
I then select the loiter waypoint. Uh, this one is very easy to understand. You set it somewhere. The helicopter flies to the waypoint and starts to loiter in circles around the waypoint. You can also set a uh, hover waypoint. I will set it uh, above the church, and if you do that, the helicopter will just hover uh, uh, over the position until you give it different orders. Finally, you can set it to uh, fast rope troops at a chosen point. It can fast rope troops uh, above a building, even very tall buildings. I've tried the tallest on Tanoa and it worked fine. Of course, after that, there's no way to go down unless you have a rappling mode enabled. But it's still a cool feature. Um, it uses uh, a three fast roping system, so if you don't get the fast rope waypoint in the drop down menu, it means that your helicopter isn't uh, configured properly to use fast roping. Um, if you have AIs, like it's the case in this video, please be aware that uh, sometimes when using your uh, ACE free fast roping, AIs <laughs> just get killed or hurt when they reach the ground. Um, I have configured it so that it will heal players when they touch the ground, so. If something goes wrong in the fast roping, you will get uh, a heal when you touch the ground. And when you're finished fast roping, the helicopter will cut the ropes and fly away. If uh, it's one that was played, it placed in the editor, it will go back to its starting point and land and wait there, or it will fly away and spoon. There's another waypoint that I didn't show, it's the basic land and drop troops uh, waypoint and when you use it, the helicopter drops you and everyone is disembarked and then it flies back to uh, its own base or if it's uh, a script helicopter, it, uh, it will fly away and disappear. And well, that's it, here you've got footage of the helicopter uh, going back to base and landing for further instruction. Uh, thank you for watching and see you guys uh, next time.